Yo, what's up guys? We've got the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G and we're gonna take it apart. Let's take it out of the box. Here's the phone. As always, make sure to remove the SIM tray. Okay, first thing you wanna do is heat up the back so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath it. Then you can use the plastic pry tool to pry off the back. If you need to, you can use the suction tool to help you pull off the back a little bit to give you some leverage to put your plastic pry tool in. But since I already took this apart once, it's gonna be fairly easy enough for me to Pry this back off. Just gonna work your way around completely. All right, once you pry the back off, just pull it off. Here's the back plate. And here's the inside of the phone, the first look you get. Now, if you notice over here, there's a connector on the top right. I honestly don't know what that is. Possibly there's a different version or variant of this phone coming with something that's gonna connect to it here. What I would think, maybe a back plate that has something attached to it with a cable that connects to that connector right there. I've never seen something like this that just left open like that. So I'll be leaning towards some idea in that nature, maybe light up back with a light up logo for a different carrier. I have no idea. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, next you have 13 Phillips screws you're gonna have to remove throughout the phone with the exception of this one. So go ahead and remove these. All right, next you're gonna do, lift up this metal plate. And then disconnect the battery cable right there. Pop it off. Now we're gonna disconnect the cable over here for the wireless charging pad. And then just peel this off. All right, now we're gonna remove the top plastic cover over here. Pop it off. Underneath this plastic piece, you'll see this flex over here with contacts right here, here, and two over here. Those make contact with the earpiece speaker down here, so it touches with these gold contacts over here, and that makes a connection over here with the board. All right, now go ahead and remove the speaker assembly down here. Just pop it off. Now let's go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. Now let's remove the front facing camera. We have to disconnect the cable over here and there's one on this side as well. So here are the cameras. Now we're gonna disconnect the cable over here that leads to the volume keys. Okay, so now we're just gonna lift up the board and remove it. So this is what it looks like underneath the main board. So I got the thermal pad over here underneath which makes contact with the vapor chamber over here. Nothing special as your typical vapor chamber looks like. I don't see any extra cooling aside from that. Now the cameras are sitting on a metal plate underneath, so you just have to basically disconnect the cables. And then you just have to pry off this metal plate basically and remove off the main board. And just in case anyone wants to see those numbers on the cables of the Cameras, there they are. 
And here's a closer look at those cameras. And this one has that image stabilization. These basically are fixed in position. And here's the connector over here, which I'm curious as to what it's for. I don't see why they would put a connector there. It doesn't necessarily look like a test port. Usually they use ports like this for testing, but I'm pretty sure some different type of variant of this phone will come out that makes use of this connector. For what, again, beats me. So next you have three Phillips screws down here. You have to remove for the charger port board. Go ahead and remove those. And then go ahead and disconnect the cable for the headphone jack. Now we're gonna craft this board over here for the charger port. Put that aside. All right, now the headphone jack, you just have to pop it off. Now at this point, you're pretty much left with the frame, the battery, the vibrator motor, and the earpiece here, along with the buttons on the sides. The battery has adhesive underneath it, so if you wanted to remove it, you'd basically have to heat it up and pry it off. And if you're planning on changing the battery, for example, you don't have to take the whole phone apart. You just have to take the back plate off, remove the wireless charging that's covering it, and also disconnect the cable for the battery, then heat it up and pry it off. As far as the screen goes, you would have to basically heat up the screen, and you would have to definitely Take the phone apart to, so you can get access to the cable over here. I mean, you could possibly slide it through after you disconnect it from the board, but it's going to be hard when you're putting it back in and you want to get that cable through that narrow slot over here. So it would just be easier to remove the main board to be able to get access to this area and slide the cable through. Here's a closer look at the battery. So overall, for the most part, this phone is easy to do most of the repairs. For example, replacing the wireless charging pad, the battery, the charger port, things like that. The screen will be a little bit more difficult, but not impossible. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. We're gonna put the charger port back in. Pop it in its place. Now go ahead and put the headphone jack back in. Pop that in. Now go ahead and put the three Phillips screws back in and then reconnect the cable for the headphone jack to the board. Next, make sure we reconnect the cables to the camera. Now go ahead and put the main board back in place. Make sure the cables don't get stuck underneath. Now go ahead and put the front facing cameras back in and then reconnect them to the board. Now go ahead and reconnect the cables. Let's connect this cable over here. Now go ahead and put your speaker assembly back in. Now we're gonna put the top plastic cover back in its place. Let's pop it back in. And then we're gonna reconnect the wireless charging pad cable over here to the main board. Reapply it back down here. Now at this point you can reconnect the battery cable over here. Once that's connected, place this cover back in. Now go ahead and put all 13 Phillips screws back in. Now once all the screws are back in place, you can apply some new adhesive if you need to around the frame of the phone. And then reapply your back plate. And flip it over, let's turn it on. And you're done. Thanks again for watching guys, see you in the next video.